Hello, students. So here we are having another question. Let's read it out. An aeroplane when flying at a height of 3000 meter from the ground passes vertically above another aeroplane at an instant when the angles of elevation of the two planes from the same point on the ground are 60 degree and 45 degree respectively. Well, the language is a little bit difficult of this question, but we will try to understand it properly. Try to understand the question first because if you don't understand the question properly, you would not be able to have the clear figure or the diagram. Not the diagram, but the figure of the question. So basically, let's do it. An aeroplane when flying. Let's say there is an aeroplane and when it is flying at a height of 3000 meters from the ground, then this aeroplane, this not another one, this aeroplane is flying over above another aeroplane. To try to understand the 3000 meter distance is actually the height of the first aeroplane and there is another aeroplane which is flying below this is the first aeroplane. I know this is a little bit complicated but you can also take the hint from these two things these two angles let me show you where these two angles are 60 degree and 45 degree. Since the first aeroplane is at a greater height as compared to the second one that's why the angle of elevation is 60 degree is more as compared to the another one 45 degree let me draw it properly then you would be able to understand it more easily so let me write down let's suppose this is the position of the first aeroplane this is the position of first aeroplane and this is the position of the second aeroplane and this is the horizontal ground which i'm going to draw here it is so read the question one more time so that we will have a clear picture of the question an aeroplane when flying at a height of 3000 meters so which is the aeroplane out of these two which is flying at the height of 3000 meter the first one so basically this total distance will be the 3000 meter let me write it 3000 meter basically convert into three kilometers so we are not going to convert the value in kilometers but we will simply proceed it an aeroplane when flying at a height of 3000 meter from the ground passes vertically above another aeroplane at an instant when the angle of elevation of the two planes from the same point on the ground are 60 degree and 45 degree. Now let's do, let me draw the angle of elevation. So this is the same point on the ground. I hope you can see. Let's take the same point on the ground be P. Okay. And uh, this, this is the position of the first aeroplane. This is the position of the first aeroplane. And this is the position of the second aeroplane. So let me mark the angles first of all. This is actually the bigger angle. So we will going to write 60 degree. And there is another angle. Let me first of all draw this and then we will going to write. Okay, so here it is. So the smaller angle is actually the 45 degree and the bigger angle is 60 degree. I hope you can see. So what we need to find out in this case, um, let's read it from this part. Find the vertical distance between the aeroplane at that instant. Also find the distance of the first plane from the point of the observation. So we have to find out two distance. Let's first of all name them. This is the first aeroplane. This is the second aeroplane and take point C. So basically we have to find out the vertical distance between both the aeroplane. That is the distance AB. We have to find out the distance AB. And then we also need to find out the distance PA because they are saying that we have to find out the distance of the first aeroplane from the point of observation, which is nothing but point P. So we have to find out two distances in this question. One is the AB length and another one is the hypotenuse PA of the right angle triangle ACP. Yeah, I forget about the 90 degree because we know without 90 degree, we can't apply the concepts of trigonometry. So first of all, we will going to write what we have to find out. Let vertical distance between the two aeroplanes, which is actually AB. Let's take it H meter. Okay. And we also need to find out the distance PA. So we will also write down the distance of the first plane from the point of observation. Also let the distance of first aeroplane distance of first aeroplane from point P. So which is actually PA 
we can also let it some another variable or we can remain let it remain pa okay so i'm going to uh, uh, let it remain pa i'm not going to take any third variable so basically what we have to find out i hope all of you can see the two right angle triangle one is the bcp another is acp these are the two right angle triangle as i taught all of you in our classes there are two right angle triangle right now now we have to find out the two variables so first of all there is a variable h which is equals to a b so let me write it for you let me draw it this distance is actually h so here it is h now if this is h then what should be the distance bc would be equals to so bc would be 3000 minus h right so let me write it down 3000 minus h meter so basically there is a distance bc a pc which i need to take because we need two variables i have already told you that there are there should be two right angle triangle and there should be two variables okay now let's start with a smaller triangle right angle triangle the name of the smaller right angle triangle is bcp i hope you can see so i'm going to write it down let me do it in rt triangle bcp bcp i hope you can see bcp right angle triangle we are going to apply tan 45 which is you know perpendicular upon base tan 45 is equals to perpendicular upon base what is perpendicular it's pc and what is the base it's pc as we all know tan 45 is 1 and bc you can see bc is actually 3000 minus h 3000 minus h so pc is actually x so we will do the cross multiplication so we get x is equals to 3000 3000 minus x now which one variable value should you find out the reason is we have to find out the value of x but not the value of x sorry we need to find out the value of h but not the value of x so basically i let it remain as it is because we will replace the value of x in the next equation so let's find out the next one equation now in rt triangle rt stands for right angle triangle the bigger one triangle that is acp acp i hope you can see acp so it's tan 60 i'm going to simply put it the value tan 60 is equals to perpendicular upon base what is the perpendicular it's 3000 and what is the base it's x tan 60 i hope each one of you know that tan 60 is root 3 just substituting the values after a little bit of cross multiplication we get 3000 upon root 3 now we know what is the value of x we are not interested in x we are interested in h so i'm going to put the value of x from equation number one so let me write it 3000 minus h is equals to 3000 upon root 3 or we have to write down from equation one so let's write it down 3000 minus 3000 by root 3 is equals to positive h so you know what we have to do so let me write it let's take first of all 3000 common then it will be 1 minus 1 upon root 3 equals to h 3000 root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 is equals to h now what we have to do we have to rationalize because root 3 is coming in the denominator actually i am running out of space so what i need to do i need to delete the earlier part of the question so that we have some space let me delete this make sure that you should note it down by pausing the video when you see it so 3000 3000 root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 let's multiply by root 3 and divide by root 3 so it will be 3000 when i multiply root 3 in the numerator it will become 3 minus root 3 upon 3 now you can see 3 cancel out with this one so it, the answer is 1000 3 minus root 3 i hope you could see in question it is already written that we have to take the value of root 3 as 1.73 so i'm going to put the value 1000 3 minus 1.73 so let me show you also 3.00 1.73 so this is 10 10 minus 3 is 7 this will be 9 9 minus 7 that is 2 and this will be 2 2 minus 1 that is 1.27 so it is 1000 into 1.27 
If we remove the point, there will be two zeros in the denominator. And from these three zeros, two zeros will be cancelled. So this is one, two, seven, zero meter. And this is the value of H actually. And this is what we have to find out. So this is actually the first part of the question that what should be the distance, vertical distance between the two aeroplanes. So that vertical distance between the two aeroplane is one to seven zero. But the question don't end here. We also have to find out the next part of the question, which is actually the distance AP. I hope you can see AP is actually the part of the bigger right angle triangle ACP, not the BCP. So make sure you should apply the right angle triangle. So let me write down. So let me write down again in RT triangle ACP. So you can see in bigger right angle triangle, the angle is 60 degree. Angle P is actually 60 degree. So I'm going to write down. No, I am not going to apply tan because tan is only used when perpendicular and base are used. As you can, you know very well that AP is actually the hypotenuse. And we are aware that AC is 3000, right? We don't need to find out the value of X and we neither calculated in the previous calculation. So basically, we are going to use AC and the hypotenuse AP. I hope you can see the AC and the hypotenuse AP. So AC and AP actually, AC is perpendicular and AP is hypotenuse and perpendicular upon hypotenuse you already knew that it is sine so i'm going to apply sine 60. sine 60 is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so what is the perpendicular in this case it is ac and hypotenuse is ap ap is what we need to find out make sure you should know about that sine 60 is root 3 by 2 and ac is actually 3000 i hope you can see from the figure it's quite clear and ap is the hypotenuse which we have to find out right just do the little bit of cross multiplication and you will end up having 3000 into 2 upon my root 3 here we again we will do the rationalization so it will be 6000 into root 3 upon root 3 into root 3 is will be 3 so 3 to the 6 so it will be 2000 root 3 i hope you can see 2000 root 3 meter is the distance of AP. But since the value of root 3 is already given to us, we have to put it and find out the final answer. So let's do it. So let me do it here. Let me segregate it. So uh, we are going to put the value of root 3. Root 3 is 1.73. So if I remove the point, there will be two zeros in the denominator and these will be cancelled out with these two zeros. So it is 2 zero into 173. Let's multiply. 1, 0 will be there. And let me show you. 1, 7, 3 multiplied by 2. 3, 2 is 6. 7, 2 is 14. 1, 2, 1 is 2. And 3. This is 3, 4, 6, 0 meter. So basically, uh, we got both the parts. So make sure this is a word problem. So we also have to report the final answer in terms of words. So you have to write down both the distances. So let me write down the words for you also. So, read the question one more time. What they are asking? They are asking, find the vertical distance between the two aeroplanes. So, we will write down, therefore, vertical distance between the two aeroplanes is equals to AB, which is equals to H, and which is equals to 1270. I hope you can see here it is 12. 7, 0 meter. And we also need to find out the hypotenuse AP. So they have said find the distance of the first plane from the point of observation. We will write down also the distance of the first aeroplane from the point of observation is what is that here is the answer i hope you can see three four six zero meter three four six zero meter so this is the complete solution that i have solved in front of you all so i hope each one of you got it completely if you still have any questions doubts then please re-watch the video and if still remain the question then please do comment thank you